Hello and welcome to another Ben and Jen adventure. So today we're going to be going on a day hike to Camp John Hay. But before we do, we wanted to show you a few of the things we're going to be taking on our hike because we're planning to do a little picnic. This is going to be all inside of our pack. And my wife will be carrying snacks as well as the food. Hopefully it's enough stuff, but I think it's, I don't think it's too heavy and I don't think it's too much. So with all of that said, we're going to go ahead and pack all this into the backpack so you can see what that will look like. So I do think this will be lightweight enough. I am also currently wearing my posture corrector at the moment. So if it looks a little weird having a backpack over that, don't worry, I won't be having that tomorrow. Let's go! Okay, actually it's going to be far too warm for this jacket, so we're actually just going to bring the uh, roll-on sleeves to protect us from the sunlight. I didn't mention it, but last time we went on this camping trip to Kindau, I actually got burned pretty nasty because of the uh, sun. It's not hot, so didn't really feel it in the cold weather. So yeah, we got these arm sleeves. have to protect my precious pale skin. And also, just in case, I brought one of these exercise bands because I do have a tendency to sweat. So I just want to be sure that my hat keeps its integrity. So we're going to be doing the forest bathing trail, the yellow trail as they call it, and that is this one right here. Hug a tree, wet your feet in the creek, take a nap, feel the bark of the tree, take off your shoes and fill the earth. Let your toes hug the soil and rocks, <laughs> touch the energy, breathe, breathe, and breathe fresh clean air. So I think that means we're safe to come out here and maybe find a place to cook and have some lunch later, provided that we're not using actual fire, we're going to be using a butane stove and then putting everything back together and not really leaving a trace so off we go yeah this is a real trail and if you get lost we're gonna die out here I'm just kidding I can literally see civilization right there but <laughs> I think we'll be okay nice to do this trail before it gets too hot out today Watch your step here, it's a little bit slippery. Touch. So we've been invited to touch this tree. Now I actually grew up around pine trees, so I'm not unfamiliar with the feel of a pine tree's bark. However, perhaps Jennifer is not as familiar with how bark feels. Cool, huh? And it's actually like small layers. I don't want to take off a lot, but you can see here, it's like if you were to peel a little bit off, there's like layers of bark. It's a very interesting, interesting plant for sure. And wow, is it tall.
You want to live in the trail? <laughs> I don't think that's an option. I don't smell anything. Yeah. So the trail gets pretty wide here. And we've also seen some hikers, other uh, joggers and stuff like that. I saw a photographer over there, I think. Really interesting stuff. And there's a little spot here where we can actually do our picnic if we want. And we don't have to do it now, but we might. We'll see. We brought some food to cook. And, uh, oh, well, I'll tell you in a minute. It's a bit of a surprise. So we have arrived at what appears to be some kind of uh, campsite. It's not really a campsite. You can't stay here overnight, I don't think. But it's sort of a stop and relax, picnic, that kind of thing. Really nice little area. Um, it's... The only thing that's difficult with this area, and that's probably true for any forest, is the roots of these pine trees are just all over. But there's also plenty of space where they are not, so it does make it pretty easy to kind of work around and find at least a clear spot to put down, like a sleeping bag if you want to sit on the ground. That is quite the fall if we were to actually fall down there. My goodness. Scary, but really cool. And we found another little spot to sit down. We're going to have a little snack and then I guess be on our way. What's for snack today? Bread. Anything else? <laughs> I don't want bread. What else have we got? The butter toast bread. I don't like the butter toast bread that much. She really likes that stuff. I don't really like it. So we are basically done hiking. We're gonna head back now. It's been about an hour and a half, two hours of hiking, which I guess is a good amount, especially for a beginner like us, beginners. But one thing we're gonna do before we go is have ourselves a little traditional Filipino lunch, or I guess since it's only 9 a.m., breakfast. But that's what we were excited to do. We were hoping that we could do that out here in the woods but unfortunately we did speak to one of the guides out here and they did say it could be construed as camping and camping is not allowed in these trails so even though the backpacks were not necessary because that's why we brought them was so we could cook and kind of picnic out there in the woods at the same time it's a good exercise it's a good practice for when we get onto like a proper proper trail in the middle of nowhere so anyway, what we're going to be eating today is a delicious homemade chicken adobo. So that is today's camping recipe, which we will be cooking up at Picnic Point. So we just got back to the parking lot. I had to move the car and um, we're thinking about cooking here but it's 300 peso to rent a table and it's a little bit pricey even for me just to sit at a table and have some lunch so maybe skipping the cooking today I don't know we'll think about it so I gotta be honest I'm not really sure what the heck we're doing yeah we're walking through a place we actually stayed here about seven months ago a little place called the manor stayed overnight for three nights pretty fun that was back in May of this year. Now, what we're doing now is I guess we're going to maybe picnic out here. Maybe. It's actually quite nice here. Oh boy. 
Well, we got ourselves a cab, and we're currently heading to 7-Eleven. Gonna get myself a Coke Zero. That is the spot. And we're gonna head back to Picnic Point, I guess, and do a cookout. Hello, my lady. Hi. All right, well, as you can see, we did decide to actually rent one of these uh, lovely picnic tables for three hours. We brought plenty of stuff to cook with, hang out. I also brought my camping chair. Even though there's a picnic table, I don't really like sitting at picnic tables. They're kind of uncomfortable. So I'm probably gonna enjoy my camping chair. Anyway, I guess let's get started on some adobo chicken. This is supposed to be lunch for two. Two people. <laughs> and now we play the waiting game. We have two stove right there. That one is the rice and this is for the chicken adobo. That's my husband, my lovely husband. Mm. Okay, you can rest. Let's check the chicken. This is whoa, chicken. It's cooking. And this is the rice. After that, if it's when it's, when it's done cooking, we'll have our lunch. Yay! I think the only thing missing from the dish is um, the bay leaves, <laughs> but everything else is, uh, smells great and it doesn't have sugar as we mentioned before. I think uh, we're not doing the full traditional where it has sugar and is very sweet flavor, adobo. Um, that's mostly because we don't really like that flavor, but still it's as traditional as you can get besides that. Well, that was a delicious meal from Jen. Thank you, Jen. Welcome. And I think that's going to do it for this video. So we really hope you enjoyed this Ben and Jen adventure here at Camp John Hay, where we went on a lovely hiking trip and had a delicious meal. And I guess we'll have to see you at the next one. I don't know what we're going to do next, but don't forget to like. Tell us below what you really liked about this video. And uh, see you later.